I wanted to know. We'll have some tea together and make all the bad thoughts disappear. That's a great idea. Your dad makes a delicious spicy tea. Can you make some too, dear? Can't even talk to her. I know what to do. I'll make her tea that's so good she won't be able to ignore me. So we're going to have to make some tea to loosen her lips. Seems like all the stuff's gone away. Maybe it's uh, down here. Spicy tea. I think you just love the art, though. It's like Don't Starve meets Coraline or something. Oh, maybe in here. So much hair. This is now Squinty's official bed. His lordship bothers mum every night until she opens the chest. Oh, not anymore. Fire's already on. Okay, how does one make tea in ye old village? With a saucepan or something? Right? Where the tea bag's at? Bucket full of water for cooking. So maybe we fill that up. Genius! Okay. Put it on the fire. I feel like, shouldn't we need spices or something? Herbs? It's everyone's favourite tea. I've been getting back on the tea train, just normal English tea. and putting honey in it. I like it. Water isn't ready yet. Meanwhile, where did you put the tea, Dad? Yeah, Dad, where did you put the tea? Can I have a cookie? Yoink. Maybe in here. This is where Dad keeps the spices. What a mess. The labels on the spice containers are all messed up. Ah, oh, puzzle for the tea. How to play. Where? Ah, right click to rotate. Pop it in. All right. Well, let's get this going, shall we? <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, start with side pieces. And all that. Who likes doing jigsaws? How many of these look like side pieces? Evil Geneva, thank you so much for nine months. That is a Twitch baby. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the resub. That looks like a... Oh, wait. So they're, like, slightly colored. So it could be... These browner ones are over here. Right? And this is a very pale one. Oh, he's on the way. There's no stopping me now. That's there. Is that that same one, or is that a different... Maybe some of them don't fit at all. This looks like it's the wrong way, doesn't it? it looks too pale to go in that one. Not sure, though. Uh, Simply Mooney, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Help me do a jigsaw. Like, why are these so pale? Let's find the bit that fits in there. No, no. Hey, Lucy, do not be quicker. Just twist the cap off and smell it. You don't have to fix the uh, whole thing here. Just sniff the spices. Find the right one. Am I mental? Why is nothing fitting in there? It's not even the right color, it feels like.
That goes there. Right? Yes, that's where I meant to put it. Magic frustrating moment with Morph. It's fine. Sort these out eventually. Uh, Vince, thank you so much for the two months. How are you doing? Thank you so much. That feels like it should be up there somewhere, honestly. Sometimes when you do a jigsaw, you just have to let the pieces speak to you rather than use any kind of method or reason. You just feel it out. And uh, inevitably, things go fine for you. Do you know what would make this easier is if you couldn't rotate them? That would be nice. piece that looks like a chicken goes on the first jar. Right. That's narrowed it down. <laughs> oh, dear. Wait. This is definitely part of this. Look. Look. The writing. Right? That's in that go here somewhere? Yes. Let's go. Who needs battle royal wins when you got Jigsaw piece wins. What's the rest of this sort of writing? Why is that hiding? There's a little something in there, but it might not even have any writing on it. But it will have that line thing. Maybe it's this one. <gasps> Let's bloody get it. Very poggers indeed. Okay, we got some grapes. Grapes. Looking for some grapes. These look like grapes. Yes. Grapes. Green or purple. Is there a difference? Okay, we got some... More grapes or flowers. Or the bottom of a pumpkin. Hmm. Perhaps... This has to be one, surely. Rotate it. I can no longer rotate it. Why is this one not rotating? Bizarre. Uh... <laughs> Where's the rest of the grapes, mate? What's going on? It's fine, we'll cut all this part out of the video, it's fine. It's two pieces snapped together already, so can't rotate. Oh. So that's right to go somewhere. The magic of editing. I'll make it look like I knew exactly what I was doing the whole time, and I'm super smart. They're just under the jar? Oh, yeah. <gasps> We've nearly done a jar. Okay, so then it's just a big old bottom. Pretty sure that's a queen song. Um, let's see what's going in there. Bottom of some onions and chili peppers, by the looks of things. There's one. Get in there. Alright, now the bottom of an onion. 
crinkly old bottom. Where are you? See that one? Oh, he's nailed it. There we go. On to the next. So what is that? What spice is that? Grapes, chili peppers, and onions? Never heard of such a thing. Okay, so now we'll look for this line across. I feel like I saw that somewhere. There it is. Boom. Okay. Oh, what do we have next? A little bit of a leaf, maybe? This bit, like the tip of a leaf? Might get us started on something. This looks like a boot. Looks leafy. Not right though, is it? <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Just trial and error at this point. Wait, maybe it's one of these. That I put over there. Oh, nailed it. This looks like a big old leaf now, poking up. The colours are kind of throwing me off. It's like the top of something. Pretty pips now once we get one in. Alright, put the leaves together. <laughs> Never doing a jigsaw again for as long as I live. Do the world a favour. Keep me far away from jigsaws. Looks like it might. Yep. For a jagged bit. There we go. Oink. What's the biggest puzzle you guys ever did? I feel like it's... Is it a thousand pieces? Is kind of like where it starts getting difficult, right? Just give me those ones that are like ten pieces for dementia patients. That's about the level I'm at, I think. Big old jumbo bits. <laughs> all right, sorry. Now we're back into the edit. Oh wow, that puzzle took me all of twenty seconds. YouTube, definitely. Wink. All right, there we go. There's the T. Now I can tell what's tea and what's chili powder. Next time, smell it, all right? You've got a nose. Ah, the water's boiling. Hot water. Yeah, puzzles are tough. Ouch, it burns! So wait, what have I got? Hot water, let's pop the tea in the hot water. Honey. Oh, delicious. It's 
not the same as your father's, but you definitely are his daughter, darling. Of course, I'm not a kid anymore. I can take care of things. True, true. You're no longer a child. They grow up so fast. So you can tell me what you wanted to tell Dad. Oh, well, but... Why don't you go outside and play, Lucy? Today's a beautiful day. I'll just sit here and sip your tea as I wait for your father. Be a good girl. Nothing. I couldn't convince her with tea. I have to find another way. Um... Want a cookie of your own? What about this doll? Hmm. Am I allowed outside now? Dad doesn't want me to go out. Okay. The house is more welcoming with a fire in the fireplace. Smack it with the poker, no? Let's check upstairs. Mum and Dad's room, locked. Squinty, my cat, such a troublemaker. Mashling. Bam, 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 bam. What if she's the reason? I mean, it's a bit... I don't know if it's been weeks or if it's like the next day or what, but... Our mum's gone and she's just here with some cookies, like sat here waiting for dad. Yeah, I bet you waiting, you know? What's in here? This is... Ah, uh, it's mum's music box, yeah. Okay. I'm trying to slide on in on the spicy tea making. Even if she's a bit dumb, I can't understand what she's hiding. Wow, Lucy. I have to find another way. Oh wait, I have this power. I can sing and see inside people's heads. That might help. She's thinking of playing ball. But her thoughts are broken. We must sew them back together. So we have to work out how to go through all of these and then into there. It's like a threading puzzle, which I thought was really cute. So you go up like that. And we have to kind of come all the way back around. So how's that then going to work? If I go up there, see how I need to go through again, but then I don't leave myself any space to get back around. So we have to like work out the route, which is probably going to be... Using my special senses of detection. I'm going to have to come around each way twice, right? That's not going to do it. Ah, oh, wait, there's different entry points. Good. I don't think it's that one. That one doesn't seem to work. Maybe here, though. So there, I'm not going to have any space. Oh no, hang on. Ah, uh, uh, right. Master Seamstress. Fixed your brain for you. A ball went off into the woods. Oh no. Oh, got it back. Still crying though. Oh, I just remembered a story from when I was little. You know, your mother was always very reckless. One time, our ball ended up in the forest, and she was so bold she went after it alone. Can you even imagine? Into the forest. She was not afraid of... of them. But she should have been. I've had the impression lately that they were stalking her. Oh my. And I was her best friend. No. They must have seen me with your mother so often that... 
Wait a second, what are you talking about? Lucy, Lucy, darling, you... You're afraid of monsters, right? You never go near the forest, right? You must never do it. They see it when you do. If your mother's been taken, they'll have their eyes on us. Don't go near the forest, Lucy. Sorry, Lucy, hi. I think I know where my father could be. I'll go looking for him. <laughs> the slow backing away. What was in that tea? Olivia, she scared me. Whenever I try to understand, adults try and scare me off. I don't care. I won't give up. I want to know what happened to Mum. Mum. I will ask around and take notes. I could use Dad's letter to write down clues. What makes more sense? M-O-M or M-U-M? It's M-U-M, isn't it? It's mum. It ain't mom. What's a mom, you know? Come on now. Change, world, change. Mum. I'd like to know what happened. Mother. Hello, Cole. What's wrong? You look sad. What's this hat? Oh. What's that? You don't want me to take it? I won't take it away if you don't want me to. The woodworker must have lost it. Also, it should just be Mum, because I keep hearing, like, <laughs> little excerpts from that Prince Harry book when it's, like, him reading the audiobook, and he's like, Mummy said this. I went to Mummy, and just... Dude, please. You like 40 or something. Hey there, how are you? Keeping myself fit with some hard work. You fixing the pipes? Oh, oh that I am. I used to be a plumber, you know. I just couldn't look at these broken pipes without feeling guilty. Oh wait, I gave you a French accent in the video, didn't I? I forgot. That's like a beret on his head, pretty sure. That's great. Actually, we haven't been able to get water from the fountain in a long time. Aha! Uh -huh. Don't worry, kid. When I'm done, you'll have all the water you want. Great. What happened to your voice halfway through that dialogue? No, no! Enjoy! I mean, <clears throat> enjoy, that's my line. Hang on! There you go. It's probably not even a berry. Does this work? Once he's fixed it, maybe. Moink. Mummy. Mother. <laughs> Look at this town. Would you like to live in a village like this? Obviously without the monsters in the forest, but they just live in the middle of the forest here. All simple and wooden. Would you dig it or would you go mad? Locked. Olivia must still be at my house. So this is her house. Hi. Mm -hmm. You are... Lucy. Ah, yes. Eloise's daughter. May I ask you a few questions? Questions? You kids should just be playing and fooling around. Leave questions to adults, dear. Anyway, the monsters. Do you know what monsters look like? Have you seen one? What? Young lady, we don't talk about such things. <laughs> But I want to know more. The monsters have kidnapped my mum and... Oh, of course. I understand the problem, but... This is no good, child. You can't go around bothering everyone with your questions. You are not the only one who has lost someone, dear. At this point, just Spartan kick her back into that stream. Has it happened to you too? This is precisely the sort of question you shouldn't be asking. Sorry. Remember this, kid. Rules protect us. Those who don't respect them find themselves 
gone for good. You will accept this with time. If someone disappears, it's always their fault. That's not true. Mum's never done anything wrong. Foolish girl, don't raise your voice. I'm just wasting my time with you. Hmm. I know the forest is dangerous and I'd never go there, but I was wondering, what does it really look like? Gosh, is this what kids nowadays think about? If only. I was just... I mean, that's me. I was just thinking that maybe if I knew it better, I'd be safer. Little girl, you shouldn't be interested in such things. Follow the rules. You'll be fine. I've been living here my whole life. Things have always been like this. There's nothing else you need to know. Doesn't matter. Does she have a song in her head? Old lady thoughts thinking about my times with people. Hanging out with two people. Hanging out on my own. I'm so lonely. Oh. <laughs> the soothing sound of running water. This river was already here when I was a kid. I'm happy that despite all these years, the town is still here as it once was. People, though. People are not here anymore. What do you mean? She was just thinking about how there used to be lots of people, and then three people, and then just her. And now she sits by the stream listening to white noise to block out the sadness in her head. I've seen many faces on and off these walls through the years. Oh. Why do we hang up posters of missing people if nobody goes looking for them? Oh, the posters are there to let us know who disappeared, not to help us find them. Has anyone ever tried? And the fools try. They always find the end they deserve. Monsters waiting for them, and no way to come back home. Well then. Time to find them. Uh, Lara, thank you so much for the eight months resub. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Liv, good to see you. 31 months as well. And a tier two. Super Bear Bear Island. Thank you so much for 31 months. And Amelie with the five months. Thank you so much. Old lady voice. <laughs> it's just got progressively older over time. I don't know how I used to do that for like f hours at a time as Willow in Animal Crossing, but... I can barely do it for minutes now without my voice breaking. Bloody hell. Like a haunted clown now. That little girl. Excuse me, may I? Grunt. Okay. Oh, who was that at the window? <clears throat> Hi, Sunny. Hi, Lucy. If you're looking for the others, they're playing by the bench. What are you doing? Mum asked me to prune the plants. They're getting a little out of control. Ah, uh, having fun? Well, the small leaves are tedious, but with the big ones, you feel like you're making a lot of progress. It's not bad. Okay, that's not true. It's really boring, but you know how Mum is. Duty first, duty after. What are you doing around here? I'm running an investigation. Mind if I ask you some questions? Sure, go ahead. You know my mum? I heard. Very sorry. How are you? Well, I've been better. No one in my family's ever disappeared. I can't imagine how you're feeling, but if you need a friend, you know where to find me. Suspicious? Thanks, Sonny. And Lucy? What's up? I know you. You're brave, but don't try to go looking for her in the forest. So going. I'm serious. I wouldn't want my best friend taken by the monsters. Sonny, you're the responsible one, not me. Lucy. I'm joking. Don't worry, I won't go anywhere. I just want to learn more about the missing people. I know. Adults don't tell us everything. You've noticed it too. Yeah, but I'm sure they do it for our own good. They don't want us to worry. And the same goes for me. Don't make me worry about you. Okay, I won't. The month of... They live in the forest, they roar at night and kidnap people. Yeah, but like, what do they look like? I imagine them being ugly, with lots of eyes and thick black fur. I think I saw one, the night when my mother... 
Seriously? Were you scared? It was just for a moment. I ran away immediately. I remember its white mantle and its roar. Must have been horrible. You know, you're the only one I've told this to. Lucy, you shouldn't tell anyone else. Adults are always freaked out by these stories. I don't know what they would think. They're the ones who told us about the monsters, though. And if they thought it was there to take you? I don't think it was. It didn't follow me. Imagine their reactions. I don't trust the others, either. We're all too afraid. I wasn't planning to tell the others, just you. All right, Lucy, be careful. What's that old man's problem? Seems like he's mad at you for something. That man over there keeps staring at me. I think maybe he hates me. I don't know why, though. Imagine being a little girl living in a village, some creepy old man staring at you that you feel like he hates you. Jeez. He seems important. It's making me nervous. Also, you live in this tiny village together. How do you not know who he is? If you want, I can try talking to him. Are you sure he won't get angrier? Don't worry, I'll be nice to him. Have you ever been to the forest? Of course not. My parents get angry if I'm late for dinner. I can't imagine what they'd do if I went into the forest. Never been there either. The only one who can go there is the woodworker. You might ask him, however. Asking adults these questions isn't a good idea. They don't like talking about it. Alright. Do, 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 do. I think we're going to have to, like, sing on this guy's mind, actually. What you thinking about, old man? What are you mumbling, little girl? Go play elsewhere. Oh, my, my mind is locked. Tinfoil hat on, you little scamp. Oh, okay. There's no one here knows how to treat flowers right. They have no passion for it. <laughs> Look at her there, chopping away at the leaves. Unbelievable. Well... These flower beds look beautiful. Perhaps they only need some water. Oh! Water? There are dry leaves everywhere. Old branches that need to be cleaned up. The ground is too hard. It's not a flower bed, it's a forest. Oh, are you a gardener? Gardener? Me? <laughs> you young brats don't know anything. Well... Ah, oh, my mind is open. I'd like to ask some questions about the town. Where did you learn how to take care of flowers? Obvious enough, but I guess they didn't teach you kids anything nowadays. The forest? Can you tell me about it? Haven't they taught you anything? No, I mean, have you ever gone there? To do what? Talk with monsters? You can have asked a more stupid question. The monsters. Do you have any idea what they look like? They definitely resemble brats like you. Oh. <laughs> Leave me alone! Dude. Let me sing to you. Oh, God's awful noise. What am I thinking of when I was a boy? Looking at the flowers. Do, 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 do. Salty old man. Okay, so you've got a few, but not too many. Okay, so probably gonna come this way. There we go, a little simple-brained old man. These are my memories. Stitched back together. I was looking at flowers as a boy, and she said, here's a pot. Do you want this flower in this pot? Once this place was full of thibiscus flowers. What do they look like? You can't see them around here because nobody keeps them anymore. It's a beautiful blue cobalt flower with wide petals. I have seen that before. Okay, I guess I'll find that for him and cheer him up. A hibiscus. Is that a real flower? I know hibiscus is, right? Is hibis hibiscus is a flower, right? Or is it a herb? I haven't been here yet. 
Get off my field! Don't come any closer, you'll ruin the whole harvest! Oh. A home for honeybees. One of Red's courage tests was to stick your hand in the hole. Never done it, obviously. Honey? Huh? It's empty. There aren't any bees. Found a key, though. Ah, well, I see a padlock over there. Bunnies. Lots of fun staying in that cage, right? Freedom? Ah, oh, it's not the right key. Uh, hello? You won't let me pass. Okay. Probably gotta find... Who's this creep up here? Sunny's mum, always in the kitchen making sweets, but I rarely see her around. They say if you meet her on the street, she gives you cookies. Sunny has to help her out so much. See where the other kids are playing. She said they're on the bench, right? <laughs> to -to -to -lo -lo. Bunch of old people in a village. This game's for adults only. They don't trust our aim with darts, but playing with a slingshot and rocks is fine. Where the hens go when it's dark. Oh, what's this? Maybe I can take it. Yoink. A rake. Hmm. So I have my doll, some cookies. Maybe I can give the cookies to people. A rusty key and a rake. That's my mum's song. How do you know it? Oh, uh, what is it, Lucy? Want to ask me something? I know that song. Oh, so what? <laughs> Yeah, all the old people are so rude in this town. So why are you singing it? Because I sang it way before your mother. Huh? What are you saying? Who do you think taught her? Me, of course. I don't believe you. Everyone says you're crazy. She never told me about you. Of course your mother doesn't know me. I'm just a crazy old lady. And singing's just for... Frivolous people. Singing is not frivolous. Well then, would you like to know how the song continues? Yep. Listen. Beautiful. A new song. I finished Mum's song, okay. You're a very promising little girl, Lucy. Oh my, it's almost time. For what? I was wrong. My watch is broken. Hmm. I wonder if time travels. Like some sort of like, you know this show Dark? There's some oddness going on. Have you ever seen the monsters? Yep, of course, all the time. Really? I remember the last one very well. A frenzied farmer screaming at his hens. Terrifying vision. Yeah. I understand. That kind of monster. To me, they are the real monsters. Do you know anything about the forest? It's a place full of trees. What kind of forest are you talking about? It's only one kind of forest. The one where people disappear. Oh, oh, excuse me. That one, of course. Sure, that's how the forest must look to your eyes. You're so young. Why, was it different before? People don't talk about it. How could they talk about times when things were better? If all they can do now is fear the present. Oh. What was it like before? Once, the forest was inhabited by many happy birds. One terrible day, the king of the forest decided to keep with him only the birds who chirped the best. Huh? Eventually they quarreled, and what happened next? I don't... What are you talking about? 
Maybe they were all devoured by monsters. End of story. Oh. Yeah, okay, I get it. She always seems to be making fun of me. You learnt a new song. Okay. Some items can hide precious memories. This song can help people recall those memories. <gasps> Hopscotch. What's the other name for this thing? Hopscotch. What is that? Isn't there another name for that? Rotate the cells, create a path, and solve the labyrinth. Use the knob. Okay. Connect it to other cells and using gears and rotate them together. All right. I was like, oh, this seems simple. Instantly not. Okay. A path to the exit. Okay. Let's have it like that first then. Sure. Can I take the gears off? I mean, that one doesn't need a gear because it's just all the same, isn't it? Ah, needs to be connected there too. Do -do -do. So I probably want to have it offset slightly. But we need... That one can only go... The bridge has to be that way. Oh, it resets if I take it off. Okay. Zoom. When I was a girl, playing hopscotch. She seems to be at peace when she sings. So why, 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 why did I want that? Why did I want to see a vision? Let's try singing the other song. She just sings back at us. <laughs> just an old lady. Just singing in your face, Tarzan style. That sack of flour just moved. Someone playing hide and seek. Who's there? Board seasoning, a specialty of the town. I'm gonna have to climb up there somehow. It moved. Oh, use the rake, maybe. No. Throw a cookie at it. Can we move anything around in here? What was in this toolbox? It's locked. Okay, what about this? Oh yeah. Pile of rusty scrap. Hammer. A hook. else that we need. It's not saying anything about the ball with the weird face on it. Definitely a, it's like a serial killer's kill box, but you know, okay. I guess we're... am I done? How do I close it? I must still be missing something if she's not closing it. A pile of rusty scrap, a pile of rusty scrap, a pile of rusty scrap, a pile of rusty scrap. Okay. There you go. Um, throw the hammer. Use the hook. Put the hook on the rake. Put the hook on the hammer. What about this? Oh, maybe I use it on here, actually, rather than poking the thing. No. 
no. Off we go. Do -do -do. Does it highlight the hot spots? Uh, let me look actually, because I did think during part one that that would be kind of helpful. Buttons? Let's have a buttons thing now. Daedalic. How we go? Wait, have a peek through that window actually. Spy on the old lady. Oh, that won't let me. I kind of like this mix. Like, point and click games I find really hard. Like, I really like ones that have good writing. Like, Full Throttle is one of my favorite games. But I feel like so many adventure games and point and clicks are really obtuse. So I like that this one so far is like pretty, I guess, intuitive where it's just things make sense. So many of the old school ones are just without a guide. I can't imagine working it out. Oh, the gates open. The growls we hear at night come from here. It's like, chew the bubble gum and put the bubble gum on the exhaust of the car to make a big bubble and then mix that with X, Y, Z. <gasps> Wait, isn't that the flower that he described? In her garden? I remember seeing a blue flower in Olivia's garden. Yes. So how... It's locked. Can I climb over somehow? Hmm. Let's go check on the baker. Stop right there. Still on guard, Silver. Of course, I'm the best. Did you get kicked out of their games again? Yeah, I'm the best at that too. Anyway, I have to stay here so you can't pass. Do you want a cookie? No, I'm not sharing my cookies. How about a doll? Oh, clicked off the screen. Uh, get him with the hook. Smack him with a rake. Cl club him with a hammer. Right. Why do people disappear? The old lady by the river says it's all their fault. Need the answers. So I don't have what I need to convince you yet, apparently. What are they doing over there? Having a race of some kind. It's closed. Okay. Oh wait. Let me think in, let me look inside his mind. I keep forgetting I can do this. That'll give me a clue as to what I need to do. I'm thinking of bread. Kneading the dough. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's going to go that way. We'll be starting there. Duh. Scoop. Scap. Scoop. Mm. Might work, possibly. This seems tough. How am I going to go through all of these? <clears throat> I have to have enough space to get through. Maybe do little rotations like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
turning into that crazy old lady. I'm thinking of baking some bread over the fire. Yeah, I'm a little rectangle body boy. First you knead the dough. Then you put it in the oven. You watch the bed break the bed the, the watch the bread baking. Try to say that five times fast. He said, Do you wanna take it out? I said, Oh yeah. Stupid black, why does he have to be so bossy? Uh I mean, uh <laughs> What are you talking about? He wanted to punish me because I let you bribe me with candy. He took a precious gift from me and hid it. Hmm, I can see him doing that. I can't even leave to go look for it. It's not fair. What if I found it for you? Would you let me pass? I don't know. You know what? Black doesn't deserve my loyalty. If you find my gift, you can pass through whenever you want. Deal. <laughs> what is it? It's my favourite thing. It's getting the... It's the, it's the the breadstick. Maybe I'm gonna like make it out of the rake or something. Like make him a new one. Did we read this old guy's mind? <laughs> I'm thinking on my battery. Shame. Looks like it's gonna take longer than a home. <coughs> I gotta got my hat. Or the home what about my hat? I've never seen you with that hat before. It looks good. It's a new hat. It's not even his hat. He just started he, it just he started talking like that when he put the hat on his head. It's actually an alien parasite. Haha, <laughs> it don't, don't it? It was a gift for my father. I mean I want my dog on the now. What happened? Did he disappear into the forest? <laughs> no, sometimes people die all day too, you know. <laughs> it's funny. Ah, I see. <laughs> what about this other one? The memories? Nothing. <laughs> Puss in boots, but French. Maybe the dog likes music. Nothing. That's a jam. Okay, nothing with him then. I wonder if I can go back home and ask her for her key or something. I shouldn't go back yet, I've got to research. Okay. What's in the kennel? The woodworker's dog kennel, but nothing in it. Can you see the dog's memories? Oh yeah, let's try, that's a good question. Thinking about this hat, isn't he? Like his person's gone missing here. I'm thinking about being a good boy. Ah, <gasps> memories of the hat. Yes, and then we'll be able to see where he's gone. Dogs are so cute. Okay. I absolutely fluked the last one, so this should be great fun. Doo -doo -ding. I need it to be the opposite of that. doesn't work this way. Right, there we go. Um, so it looks like the only way up there hey, is with this turned like the other way or something? Like around that way. But that one has to be like that. So da 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 But we're gonna have to go... I feel like I'm one move away from making that work. I just need that junction to connect here and let us up there, right? 
Um, Anna, thank you so much for the 86 months, a super duper long time, and tier 3 still. Thank you for amazing support for those 86 months. I really appreciate it. I hope you're doing awesome. Thank you so much. Burn effect. Okay, how do I do this without... I need it to turn. I need that one to be there, but then not... Maybe turn these first. That's almost right, but just has to go the other way. Zoop. Nothing. Gonna lose it now. Visually minded and brained. I wish they would stay where they are. Is it? Maybe we can't get up there that way? Because that bridge has to be... Wait. Hang on, now it's a four? Oh, okay, so if it goes that way, it can be... Can you even go this way? To the right and then up? It doesn't look like it, right? In which case... Maybe we have to come this way. Okay, so I need to move that one off. Ah, okay. And then turn this one somehow. Hmm. Ah. Okay, and now I just need to turn that one. Like, once, I think. Oh. Bloody hell, we got there in the end, guys. <laughs> this is why I never stream puzzle games, I just do them for YouTube. He's looking. He pat. He leave. His hat. He smell. Ah, so if I let you go, you'll go and find the wood man. Probably. He wants to follow his owner. Okay. It's tied too tight. How can you untie it? Perhaps with a hook? Perhaps with a rake? Perhaps with a hammer? Can't untie it with bare hands. Hmm, I wonder if any of these things go together. What's up, Reese's? No. 
Do you want a cookie? No. Sad little pooch. I feel like maybe I'm going to want that spanner. Okay, where haven't we been? Oh, wait, wait, give me your uh, clippy clips here. Those shears, that's the word for them. Can I borrow those? My pruning shears? Oh, I don't know about that. I'll give them back. If my mum found out I loaned her tools to one of my friends, she'd go ballistic. I don't want to be in trouble again. Are you talking about the time you let me your mum's pots and pans for a basket of cherries? That, and other times too. Your ideas always end with me spending an afternoon getting scolded. You like cherries. I love cherries. I'm not kidding, Lucy. Mum's always keeping an eye on me. I don't want any trouble. So I have to distract her mum somehow. Hello. I'm thinking about cherries. Ah. Have we seen cherries anywhere? If I give her a cherry, she might swap. So maybe that leads us back to the field. It's all coming together. Hmm. Hello? Okay, so we've got to distract him somehow. Which I feel like is definitely going to be this padlock, right? Damn. Screw finding a key. What? Oh, not again. Get back here. Vandalism. Maybe that was a bit drastic, but those rabbits needed some air. Why is a farmer keeping rabbits anyway? You look like you got something. A tool or some such. <gasps> Wait, that looks like it's the baker's thing. A scarecrow. It scares birds with a passion for cooking. It's holding a peel for some reason. That thing's called a peel. Today we learned. Just a big old spatula, if you ask me. Can we go in his house? Dad works here. He learned a lot of his skills here. Tom's really obnoxious with kids, but I think he gets along with Dad. Better not draw his attention. He told me to stay inside. Okay. What's this? Cherries. Too high up. Good thing I've got a rake. Oh, just whack the tree. Good thing I've got this. Good thing I've got a hook. Good thing I've got a peel. <sighs> Climb the tree. Buck, buck. The rake should have worked. Maybe I have to hit it on the tree. No? No. Well, we got that back, so we can at least... Then we'll double back and give the kid his uh, peel. And then we'll be able to see what the boys are up to. Uh, where were they? The bakery. Did you guys climb trees when you were kids? I don't know if I ever ended up up a tree. I'm trying to think. I, probably as a kid, I was like, like, I did some dumb stuff as a kid, but climbing trees, I was probably like, that's too high. I'll fall out and hurt myself. Been up like a couple small ones, probably in a park, but not like up, up a tree. Hey, Lucy, did you find my gift? Oh, what do you know about the monsters? I know what the others say. They kidnap people. You can't break the rules or go out at night. We all know that, but I want to know more. Red's the one who claims to know about all things forbidden. The monsters, the forests, basements. Even what the farmer really hides in the chicken coop. What? Half of what Red says is nonsense. You know that, right? No, I'm, I mean, yeah, but uh, the other half's convincing. 
let me give you your gift. There we go. Yeah, Lucy, that's it. Thank you. Remember your promise? Of course, you can pass now. Come on, I'm counting on you, Hedgehog. Hi, Black. Hi, Lucy. Check out this speedy Hedgehog I found. It's definitely gonna win. Mm-hmm, of course. Listen, I wanted to ask you. The forest. I like watching the forest from that little wall. It doesn't seem so threatening from here. Well, obviously, it's noon. You should see it at night. Even the adults tremble when it's dark out. <laughs> Any idea why no one goes near it? What are you, stupid? I told you, it's only a problem at night. During the day, adults go there. Otherwise, how would we have the wood for the fire, fireplace? <laughs> Stumble every word there, Black. Listen! I didn't mean by day. You don't have to call me names over it. Little stupid, Lucy. Oh no, the hedgehog's losing ground. Come on, don't give up! Have you ever seen a monster? Yeah, of course, Lucy. I see one at night all the time, passing under my window. Seriously? Tell me more. No way. Who's to say you won't just go telling everyone? I won't do that. Maybe. I could tell you a secret, but only if you play with us first. Alright, but only for a little bit. No, you have to win, but you won't be able to. You're just a little girl. So bossy. How does it work? It's a race with the animals we caught. Ah, I'm gonna have to find a fast animal somewhere. Maybe what's in the um in the bag in the barn is like a quick animal. Red has a frog, but I found a super hedgehog. Raven thinks I'm too stupid to win this game, but she'll see. Maybe I think so too. A hedgehog. You'll see. Okay. Come on, Killer Quill, make him eat dust! What a tragic name. I would have called him Richard. What's up? I'm getting my revenge on Black. He thinks he can beat me in animal races. This frog's unbeatable. Definitely has magical powers. Magical, of course. Can I ask you some questions? Shoot! You often talk about how good you are at discovering other people's secrets. Can you tell me something about the forest? I won't tell you anything. What? Why? Look, I know you think I make up all my stories. Since you're already such a know-it-all, I won't tell you anything. Oh, is that it? Then... I'll tell everyone you like Sunny. <laughs> Wrong person. I'm not the one who likes Little Miss Perfect. Uh, hey. If you want to learn anything from me, just beat me in Animal Race instead of making stuff up. If I win, will you talk to me? Yeah, but don't worry, you won't. <laughs> that story about the monsters you told at the party, you made it up, right? You should learn to spy more on adults when they're talking. They say a lot of interesting things when kids aren't supposed to be listening. Who can say if I made it up? You're asking a lot of suspicious questions lately. What are you up to? Eh, eh, eh. Nothing. What are you talking about? What a shame. Would have been more fun. You've built a nice track here. Black just has a sleepy dormouse. He's going to lose for sure. What powers does your frog have? I thought he had a hedgehog. It jumps. <laughs> Gotta go. Hi, Raven. What are you doing? Red found a new pet to use in his races against Black. Another one. I already know who's going to win. Black's animals are always slow. Fast ones are too smart for him. Da -da 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 -da. Trying to find out more about the people who disappeared. Not really. My family takes this all so seriously. No one's ever disappeared. People like that, they don't get lost in the forest. Don't you ever worry that something could happen anyway? Even if it did, it wouldn't matter to me. They're just living in fear every day, I can't stand them. You say you wouldn't care if anything happened to your family? Bit much? 
They keep talking about this aunt or that neighbor who disappeared. I'm so sure that one day it will happen to us too. One day I'm going to the forest on my own. I want to see if monsters really exist. You don't mean that, do you? I mean, you would be tempted, right? If you grew up in a village where they just constantly told you, don't go into the forest, don't go into the forest, don't go into the forest. One day you would just say, I need to know and go into the forest, wouldn't you? Would you be brave or curious enough? Do you know what they said about curiosity? Uh, Darth Stoat with the 31 months from the land of the New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand. Thank you so much for 31 months. I hope you're having an amazing time. What time is it there? It must be early morning, right? I hope you're having an amazing uh, time and that the flight was not too arduous and everything. Hey, Black, have you ever been to the forest? Find any monsters there? Huh? What, what, what are you saying, Raven? I've never set foot in it. Do you think I'm crazy? You're useless as always. What did I do now? Sorry, Lucy, I can't really help. Have you ever seen a monster? Well... What? I hear their voices. I mean the roars. Not only those. The singing? You can hear it too. It sounds like voices. I've heard it ever since the evening when my mum disappeared. Your mum was a singer and you've heard singing in the forest since your mum disappeared. It's mum. Right? It's terrifying and sad. I thought I was the only one. Any idea where you can hear it? I don't know, but it scares me. It almost seems to call to me. I've never told anyone I was afraid that... I don't think the others hear it. I haven't told Dad either. If I told my parents, they'd lose it. They're obsessed with monsters. Listen, would you like to talk about something else? Let's look inside your mind. Thinking about the monsters. The village. That Lucy girl's well weird. She just walks about singing in everyone's ear. I'm thinking about winning with my hedgehog. I'm thinking about winning over both of them. Alright. Well, I don't feel like we got anything much out of this, did we? There's nothing I can use my powers on there. Bakers is still closed. Hmm. So we gave him that, but we didn't get anything in return, did we? Did I forget something? Raven can hear the song of the forest too, so I guess we got that clue. And that's about it. Any memories here? So we need to get that flower somehow. I wonder if we can uh, get in the door with something that we have. Smash it. Pick the lock. Put a cookie in the hole. No. The bakery's closed because um, the guy's kid went missing. And he went to look for him in the woods. Fruit. There's only a brittle fence between us. Yet today I will spare you. Be thankful for that. Should I try climbing over the wall? I don't think I can make it. You gotta do something, Lucy. You need that flower. What's your, what are you getting if you go in a bakery? You go in a bakery 
Everything's fresh. The smells hit you. What are you buying? Are you going bread? Are you going croissant? Are you going uh, maple pecan Danish? Are you getting some donuts or something? You can't beat... Can I... So what's these honeybees here? Nothing. You can't beat some... Uh, some fresh bread. But I feel like if I'm there, I'm going sweet. I'm going pastries. Can I distract her at the window somehow? Oh no, I need to give her cherries, don't I? So cherries is the solution for her. Maybe check the hens. I said there was something in here, right? Cherries, but I can't reach. Do, 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 do. An apple Danish. I don't know if I've had an apple Danish, but something like an apple turnover or something would be dope. Oh. I feel like maybe it's like piecing something together here because you can like combine stuff too. But none of these work. I can't get the cherries out the tree. What was in the hutches? Nothing. Hmm. We did try the rake on the wiggly flower bag. Which was in here. I wonder if I could climb up there somehow. Wiggly bag. Tried everything. How about it? It moved. Maybe I can sink. Here we go again. Oh, bloody hell. Send help. Puzzle time. You ready for a speed run puzzle? Behold. Done in one. Done in two. Just kidding. Now it's done. God damn it. Right, let's see what we got. I mean, that gets us going, right? Is there a way... If I turn this one, they need to all turn equally. Let's take it off for now. Don't I just? I just need literally that to go that way, don't I? And then just then we'd go up. Blah 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 blah. Scooch. Um. Huh? But I'm up there. Oh, it's two at the same time? Oh, bloody hell. I thought I had it. Look, I have that one. I have to do this one as well. Uh, so that means I have to turn that thing. Perfect. Bloody master of it. Going back in time. Oh, what's it? I'm gonna. What's in this sack? Oh, you found me. Oh, it's just you, Lucy. What are you doing here? You weren't playing hide and seek. Now they're fight. Did Blue? Did they tell you that they were playing hide and seek, and no one's actually looking for you, and you were hiding in a sack all day? The others aren't playing anymore. They're by the bench doing other stuff. Huh. Huh. They didn't tell me. 
Well, do you want to play with me, Lucy? Not really. <laughs> Would you like to chat for a bit? Oh, play hide and seek with him, Lucy. What's the matter with you? Rude. Not really. What's up, Ava? How you doing? Then Olivia started telling me all these strange things about monsters. I got scared and left. Oh, adults always do that. Trying to find out what I can. I was told my uncle was taken away by monsters because he used to talk too loud. He always made me laugh. I enjoyed staying with him. I want to find out what happens to people who disappear. Okay. Your unk. How do you disappear? He was playing hide and seek with me. My favourite game. It was his turn to hide, but... I couldn't really find him that time. I asked the adults to help, but they didn't find him either. They said maybe he hid in the forest and got himself lost. Did you ever go looking for him? Are you crazy? Don't you know it's forbidden? The monsters, they'd take me away too. I have to go. Bye, Blue. Sure, bye. Oh, wait here. Someone will be along and want to play a game soon, I'm sure. Ah, oh, thinking about monsters eating the whole town, because I hate it. Everyone's well mean to me here. Did that, was that at least a clue? I didn't even go on my clue thing. You're literally useless, boy. Alright, see you later. Get back in the sack. The old woman left. Ah, maybe I can take this then. Yoink! I'll be climbing on that to get some cherries out of a tree. Don't mind if I do. Got no friends. I won't be able to convince Sunny with just a few cherries, but a whole tree may work. A branch full of cherries. I think the farmer might notice. The monsters are going to get me, aren't they? If they go for people who break the rules. Also, I'm so thinking it's just the adults to control people. Well, we'll see. He was too loud. Get rid of him. Be gone. What happened to Uncle? Ah, oh, the monsters took him. Sunny. Ta da! And where did you get this? If that comes from the farmer's field, I would love to see his face when he notices it's missing. Couldn't really see his face, to be honest. He was too busy chasing his rabbits. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> Sunny? What's going on? For heaven's sake, keep your voice down. Oh, Mum. Hi, Lucy. I see you're here too. Hi. Please behave. I don't want anything to happen to you. We will. We're sorry. That could have been worse. What should I do with these, Lucy? Eat them, and in return, you want the shears. Well, you'll need free hands to eat those cherries. <laughs> You're impossible. And fine, you can borrow them, but first, there's just one problem. If mum sees me slacking off, she'll start asking questions. I need to make it look like I'm still working. I can't move from here. Bloody hell, Lucy. Uh, whatever your name is, just give me the Shears, got damage. Trying to find my mother. Can I take the scarecrow? It's almost cute. Like, how else would she think she's there? If I don't get the scarecrow out of the ground, what else would look like a girl outside? Hmm. 
Hmm. Also, that crate broke, so I can't use it to get over the wall now. Alright, Python, have a good day. Humpty Dumpty over here. Okay, so where are we at? Finding an animal, releasing the dog, we need the shears. Oh, maybe there's some clothes on the washing line again. That I can use. Nope, the washing be gone. The woodworker's shed. Not allowed back. <laughs> I don't really want to spend time with Olivia, it says. Okay. Raid. Marbles. Bolts. Can't wait till he's done. I'm tired. Okay. Scooby dooby doop. Scooby dooby doop. I guess we just keep circling around and see what comes to pass. As I gaze toward the forest, I always feel something weird. It creeps me out. Why would you even have a gate if you're not allowed out? About the shears. I have to find something for you to do so your mother doesn't think you're slacking off, right? Exactly. Something for you to do. Hammer? I have an idea. Use this rake to rake the leaves on the ground. I'm sure your mother won't have anything against that. Bam. Sounds great. Fine, Lucy. Here are the shears. Yes. Don't do anything dangerous. I'm going to run with them. They're the biggest bloody pair of shears I've ever seen. All right, let's go free the dog. There we go. so cold. Is it getting cold where you guys are? Suddenly a bit of a cold snap here. Frozen. Need to get cozy. Shadoodles, thank you for the raid. I had a lovely stream. Let us know what you were playing. Right. Snip, snip. We're getting through it, guys. We're doing this together. We're achieving amazing things. Go, you're free! Where are you headed? Alright, follow the dog. Wait, can I take the thing? Yoink! Never leave anything behind! to the woods. Hmm. What are you doing here? The forest's dangerous. Come on, let's go back. Wait! Oh? <laughs> the timing. Where, where are you? Doggy got munched. Hell yes. Uh, Jeff Bezos is pleased. Fed to the Jeff Bezos gods there. Shardoodles, thank you so much for the prime for three months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Something stuck on the gate. Cole's fur. I guess he went into the forest. Will he be okay? Sticker. What do you mean? You literally watched him go into the forest, girl. Okay. I wonder what the point of that was. Well, now I have some rope. What did we need rope for? Maybe to get over the wall. Maybe I'm going to make like a grappling hook. And then we'll climb over the wall and get the flower. 
Like a ninja. Maybe that would make sense. With the hook. Yep. That's what I'm talking about when it's like nice that you can think something and it works. Like intuitive puzzles rather than of cheap stuff. Let's go do that down here. Oh, thinking of flowers. If only somebody was getting me a flower. We'll be right there, Humpty. Adventure time. Just whips the entire grappling hook over the wall. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Was the dog looking for his owner who disappeared? So we, all we know is that the woodworker like patted his dog on the head and then walked off and has incidentally seeming to have gone into the woods. But we don't know why. Olivia cares a lot about her flowers. This one in particular is lovely. Snip. Better not tell her I took one. Olivia could come home anytime. Scoop. All right. Oh, that's littering. Some poor little fish in there with a big old hook on its head now. Right, so now we have the flower. Let's give that to the old man. Excuse me, is this a Thibiscus? Where did you find that? Let me see. It really is a Thibiscus. Did you know that with the right care, the cut flowers can live for up to a month? Unfortunately, I won't be able to make it live that long. She would have known how. She who? Open your mind, old man. one we already saw. She who? He's no longer listening. Ah, oh, wait, maybe the memory from the flower? <laughs> right. Puzzle me this. Schwink. This is when they were kids. Now I remember. The person. Who taught you these things about flowers? My sister said the secrets and the amount of water. They don't need a lot of it, otherwise they rot. She had a real passion for these flowers. And it wasn't just that. She took care of us all, as if we were the flowers of her favourite garden. But then she left us only weeds. She disappeared into the forest. She was so responsible, yet she lost her way so easily. She abandoned us. I haven't forgiven her. How did it happen? Those cursed monsters. Didn't you try and save her? Little girl. Monsters exist and cannot be defeated. They will always be out there in the forest. This is why we have rules to stick together. Do not forget that. It's got to be the last clue. This 
I don't have a place to keep it. Maybe I should throw it away. No, I'll take it. Yes, yes, whatever. Clues updated. So... We still need to know what the monsters are like. What do we still have to do? We got... His brain. Got the information out of her. Oh, maybe she wants to know, like, why he hates her or something? No? No. Oh, I need an animal for the races, don't I? Hmm. We haven't seen any clues of animals, have we? Other than the chickens. For entering the race. I feel like that's the last thing. Like, there's these here. Maybe I lure them with a cookie? Or with a flower? Or with a hammer? With a doll? No? It's the only animal we've seen. Village of Cowards. Yeah, this gives me big. You guys seen the M. Night Shyamalan, uh, The Village movie? It's a good movie, actually. I feel like it's Shyamalan's, like, last good movie. Everything he's done since then has kind of been, like, awful. What was that one called Old? On the beach? Like, that film was so bad. So, like, unbelievably bad. Dirty tools for the cobwebs. The hen house is always empty. Like, the acting was just another level of awful. I will say that new one that he has a trailer for at the moment called, like, Knock at the Cabin or something is, um, actually looks alright. But it's, like, based on a book or something. With Dave Bautista and, um, Ron Weasley in it. Who's got an animal? Bum, 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 bum. To enter the race. Challenge, but I don't have anything. All right, I'll challenge red. Help. Oh, I just, okay. Help the hedgehog win the race. I thought I needed an animal. Click as fast as you can and make the hedgehog go faster. Clicking. Go on, Sonic. Sonic, boom, baby. Beat that frog. Beat that frog, my little spiky friend. Skedaddle! Skedaddle! Hedgehogs are so cute. I won! True, not bad for a girl. <laughs> Guys on internet games be like, What can you tell me about monsters? Not the same old stories about roars and disappearances. We all know about that stuff. Do we? Do you believe that? Uh, we've been deceived. That's just a fairy tale the adults tell us. They're using the monsters to get rid of people they don't like when they're fed up with you. They get you out of your home and the monsters take care of the rest. What? What are you talking about? The adults! They hate us and they want to keep us on a leash. I don't believe you. Do you have any evidence? I just know it. That's enough for me. If you want to live your fairy tale of good parents who love children, have fun. I know what game they're playing, and they won't fool me anymore. But know this, the day they decide to get rid of me, they will not find me. I'll live hidden away in these alleys, and they'll never take me. Um, I don't know how much I can trust Red's stories. I think Red knows exactly what's going on, unless there's a twist in this, to be honest. Okay, now I need to challenge you, I guess. Wait. Help. 
help the frog win the race. Click anywhere to make it jump. If the bar is full, the frog jumps farther. The better your timing, the farther it'll jump. Ah! Go, frog. Mr. Toad. Poop, poop. Get in your motor car and win this race. Oh, you idiot. You stupid frog. I was doing it when it was full, man. It has to be green. Ridiculous. Letting the side down. When you think of a frog character, who do you think of? I say frog, you say... Yes, I get it, game. Wait for the green, wait for it to be green, like our little froggy friend, Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog. Kermit is green, Kermit is green, Kermit, 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 boom. Can I do it for you? Lily for Animal Crossing, Kermit, Frogger, classic. Ah! I beat you. Tell me everything you know. You cheated. Do you want to cry in front of Red? Hmm. You said you saw a monster. What's it like? Scary. At night when someone disappears, I hear it gnawing on the bones of its victims. It has a huge spider head, flaming eyes, and long, slimy tentacles. Oh. You'd scream if you saw it. Black. Did you challenge me to a game just to tell me this? You're a liar. You just want to copy Red and his scary stories. Don't you dare call me a liar. Stop telling made-up stories, then. I won your challenge, and now you're going to tell me a secret, a real one, or I'll tell everyone what a liar you are. You, you're the worst, okay? Okay. You know Blue? What about him? I know a secret. He was Luca's only friend, you know, the baker's son who disappeared. Really? He never mentioned it. I just saw them together by chance on this very street. Luca was a strange kid. Being his friend meant getting looked down on by everyone, but Blue's too dumb to care about stuff like that. <laughs> These kids' morals are messed up. Luca, he was always so shy. He wasn't part of our group, but I remember well when he disappeared. Luca's poster was only hung up a few days after his disappearance, but Blue had already stopped coming to look for him. What's strange about that? I think Blue knew about Luca's disappearance long before the adults. Maybe he discovered something... mysterious. I don't know. I'll ask him. Ah, Blue might be useful. It's also weird that they're like, Raven, Silver, Red, Black, Blue. Us. Lucy. Our parents really went, nah, just a plain old Lucy. Um, where was he? This way. Ah, bro, here comes the monster. I'm not going to go with the others. They were pretty mean today. Do you want to play the invading monster with me? Uh, no, not now. <laughs> Can I ask you some... Just play with the boy! One game, Lucy. Bloody hell. Okay. Did you ever talk to Luca? Sometimes. Were you friends? Yeah, maybe. He, he was to me, at least. He liked being alone. I think he was also older than us. I admired him. He taught me lots of things about hide-and-seek and camping. I know he wasn't comfortable with the others, but with me it was different. Of course, he still treated me like a kid, but I think he trusted me. But I admit, I never got him completely. He often spoke about things I didn't understand. Or maybe he just went off into the woods on his own? He ran away? 
sorry, I should have talked with you as soon as he disappeared. You couldn't have known. No one knew, and I didn't talk about it. Because I think it might be my fault. How so? Did you do something wrong? I didn't do anything. One day he was here, and the next, poof, he was gone. I just know that people around me keep disappearing, one after the other, so maybe I'm the problem. So afraid I'll be alone. It's not like that, I'm sure. In any case, I won't disappear. <laughs> we're, I, we're blatantly about to go into the woods and disappear. Blue's just gonna be like, it is me! Everyone leaves me! Hashtag abandoned. How did he disappear? In the last few days, he was saying some strange things. Stranger than normal. And I didn't see him around as much. One day, I went looking for him at our usual place, but he wasn't there. All of his things were gone. It was weird. I looked for him for quite a while, but I didn't find him anywhere. A few days later, his poster was hanging up, and they said he'd disappeared. And I had already guessed it by then. Remember anything unusual before that? Just the things he talked about. He told me about the roars from the forest, and if you listen carefully, you can hear something more in them, like a song. I thought a lot about his words, and I have a theory. I think the forest deceives you. First you hear its voice, and then you disappear. Bye. <laughs> See ya. I'll just be here on my own playing, don't worry. Lonely? Seems like I have a lot of evidence now. It's getting darker. I should go home. Bam, bam, bam. We did it. And to think the jigsaw was the thing that stumbled us the most. Great, that isn't back yet. Oh, clicked off the screen. I learned a lot today. Let's see. The forest deceives you. Who knows what that means? And then there's those voices. Maybe the monsters trick people and somehow drag them into the forest. Maybe it happened to Mum. If that's true, we need to save her. Everyone told me we shouldn't look for those who disappeared, but we should try. I'm sure of it. I need a backpack, some rations, and... If I told Dad, would he come with me? No. Dad! Hi! It's the way, for me, like, that Dad looks like... Either it's Guy Fieri or like an emo aging rocker, you know? Lead singer of a band that was popular in the 90s, but now it's like 2020. But he's still got blue hair and a chin strap. Lucy, so you're home now? I was out looking for you. Tom saw you poking around in his fields. Didn't you read the note? Why did you leave the house? No, it's not like that. I was at home, then Olivia came. She said it was important, so I went looking for you. But you were busy, and when I came back home, Olivia was already gone. Are you sure? Absolutely. Yes. Um. Okay. I'll have to see her later. Hey, wanna know what happened today? Huh? I discovered how Mum's song continues. Don't. No, stop! What? But it's Mum's song. Lucy, I'm not in the mood. Oh. Where did you learn this? From this weird old lady. <laughs> she says she taught Mum all those songs. You talked with that crazy old woman. Lucy, you must never listen to what she says. Stay away from her. 
but she seems to know things about the forest. Maybe she could help us. Enough! We will not talk to her. That's final. No. <laughs> I always have to listen, but there's never a reason. Lucy. None of you adults tell us anything. You only talk about what to do, what not to do, but then people disappear and you just stand there doing nothing. And Mum. Mum disappeared and no one's looking for her. She's waiting for us. She needs help. I don't know where Mum is. Lucy. Lucy, listen. I know you want answers. Let me tell you a story. It's important, so listen carefully. Pulls out guitar. And I'll tell you this story through the medium of pop punk. Here, sit for a while. It's a story that takes place when I was around your age. I just got into my first band. You see, your mum and I and another girl were great friends. That girl was my sister. We also thought what the adults were doing wasn't quite right, so I know how you're feeling. Wow, it goes back that far. Passed down. Is that low heart? One day, when another kid disappeared, we decided to go looking for him. We were sure it was the right thing to do. We were wrong. That day, my sister never came back. Believe me when I say I know how you're feeling right now, Lucy. But Mum and I learned the hard way that the rules in this town are the only way to stick together. There's no way to find those who are gone. Monsters exist, but as long as we behave, they won't be able to take us. Do you understand? Will you promise you won't go after her, Lucy? My curiosity would get too much. I would be off looking. Is it true that the forest was different once? Is this another tale from that crazy old lady? Her words are just fantasy. We have to stay together and face the truth. No more songs, no more research. It's for your own good. Will you let me protect you? I miss her. I miss her too. You ain't looking very hard though, is your dad? Not the clue page, after all my work. Songs are broken. After the passage of time. Schleif? I like the font. Run away. Prank caller, prank caller. Run away. Ask for help. Ah, Jesus. Nibbles. Run away. Ask for help.
Look. In our dreams. The voices from the forest. I heard them again last night. They're scary and melancholic. Melancholic. Melons. I promised. No more questions. I wish they'd stop. Squinty's not in my drawer. Strange. Who knows where he's gone. I forgot to return this to the farmer's toolbox. Hammer. Anything else? The Thibiscus withered. Oh, that was the plant that was... I didn't even catch that. In that cutscene, that was the plant dying. See, I'm making breakfast. What would you like? Mayonnaise or jam sandwich? Or just mayonnaise and a spoon? Ooh, tough choice. Jam? Mayonnaise for breakfast? I feel sick. Dad, have you seen Squinty? He hasn't eaten yet. Well, he doesn't usually go too far. He must be hiding in some drawer. Okay, I'll look for him. Crates everywhere. Squinty. The eternal battle between order and chaos taking place here in this cellar. I think chaos is about to win. I made this when I was learning how to hammer nails. An old rusty sickle. Dried fish. Oh. Dad left a cork in here. Mine now. Add your own sound effects. It's very satisfying popping a cork on something. Squinty! Squinty's bed. Do I look outside? Don't wander too far. Breakfast will be ready soon. Dad, it's a fried egg. I think it's done. Leave me alone. I'll fry this egg for hours. It's the only thing that stops me thinking. The sizzling in this pan. Alright, all right, good luck with that. Bye. Squinty, I've got food. Aren't you hungry? Not a missing cat. Careful, Lucy. Don't come too close. Oh, it's Red's dad. Why is he here? Wait, what are you doing? Mayor asked me to tend to this workshop. Taking apart what we don't need anymore. Are you going to be the new woodworker? Wow, the woodworker just never came back. He's missing. No way. I'm not the type to go wandering around in the forest. I have no idea how to work wood. Who's going to provide wood to the town? They'll find someone else. Someone who's not me. Listen, Lucy, I have a lot to do and I need space to work. Don't be buzzing around or you could get hurt. Chap. Sweet tea. Thank you so much for the five months with the prime. Thank you. How are you doing? Giovanni must have prepared the pipes. Hey, I knew he had an accent. Obviously, someone forgot to turn it off. No more waste. Uh. Water everywhere. Giovanni said that I'd have all the water I wanted. But I was hoping it would come from the faucet. If Dad sees this disaster. All that noise is covering it up for now. Stick a cork in it. 
Squinty, you are a true ninja. I have to follow the tracks. The water jet's too strong. No good, can't move it. So wait, the cat went through here. Squinty's tracks end here. Pile gets more and more confusing. Squinty, he sounded scared. He must be in trouble. I have to find a way through. Mate, if I heard my cat doing that through some rubble, there would be a me-shaped hole in said rubble. It's about to collapse. I need to find a safe way through. Okay. How are we gonna get through? Through the dog shed. Hmm. Knock it all down. Maybe through here, like leads there? Dad said not to go too far, okay. Alright. Maybe turn this back on. And then let the water pressure come down. No, it's just gonna keep going. Uh, Danny Stitches, thank you so much for the Prime, welcome. I appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Did that release any pressure? No. Hmm. A good going. I have a hammer and I have a cork. Let's see. Maybe he has something. I'm busy. Another cork. Okay, so I'm going to need a cork for each one, I guess. Cork search. Bottle of oil. I prefer jam for breakfast, but mayonnaise is tasty too. Not for breakfast. How are you having mayonnaise for breakfast? So I have two corks. Hmm. What would the oil do? Oh, maybe like it would loosen this up. Physical strength could move the valve, but the strength of my logic did the trick. Ayo. Pop that in. What's your usual breakfast? Not your favorite breakfast, but what is the breakfast that you most commonly have? For me, it's porridge, because it's just so quick and easy, and I just have the little sachets, and I just throw it in a bowl, throw in some milk, stick it in the microwave, done. I just have little golden syrup sachets. It's like not very filling or satisfying, but I, you know, I kind of like porridge. It's just fine, it's just easy and quick, and it. Hold is closed, thanks. Cork. Right, now if I turn this back on. Oh. Wait, maybe turn the valve again? Oh. Cork's popped out. closed. Maybe I have to, like, hammer the cork in. There you go. Get in there. Uh. Now we'll give it a go. Huzzah! Like, you couldn't have done that with your hands, Lucy? Jeez. 
is that? Cloth. Okay, I probably gotta, like, do the other one as well then. Make it even stronger. Cloth alone can't do much. But a cloth and a doll. Stuff the doll in there. No. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tapioca and eggs. Oatmeal. Bagel. I used to love bagels so much. Grits. Never had grits. Bananas. Fry up some eggs. I mean, eggs is great. Eggs is so quick. Like, if you have some eggs and you have some toast, you can have an egg on toast in, like, less than two minutes. Um, sandwich, peanut butter, banana on toast, bagel and fruit, Greg's bacon roll, crumpets and toast at home. Uh, we just hammer them in. Malto meal, like an oatmeal porridge mix. Wait, there's a difference between oatmeal and porridge? I love yogurt with sliced banana and strawberries and chia seeds and hemp hearts for extra nutrition. Going all out for the breakfast there, sounds great. I love yogurt. Get some yogurt and muesli or granola. I'm gonna find something else. What do I do with a cloth? Maybe like mop up the water a little bit, get it wet. No, maybe around the tap. The egg ick, I know. The egg ick. When you get bold and hungry and do like a three egg omelette, it's too much egg. Um, can I take the corks out and put them in? I'm a good plumber. No. And I can't use my singing anymore. Just try using the cloth on these different bits. The way the character just shrugs like, I don't know what you expect me to do. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, can't go down here. Maybe there's something inside with the cloth. Yeah, I like egg mayo. Sam Woodges. Dad, is my breakfast done yet? Bloody hell. <laughs> I'm staring into the flames, Lucy. Don't disturb me. Dad's being well weird. Oh, wait, there's another cork here. Bloody hell. How did we miss it? That's why I gotta search, search, and search again. Okay, so now we'll last cork and then that'll probably blast through there. I like that this kid's industrious, but also if your cat's trapped behind there, it's probably not the best thing to just like blast it with water at a... Cork's a bit smaller. Where? The cork is a bit smaller than the hole. Okay, mix it with the cloth. Uh, wrapped cork. Shield. Boom. Did the water stop? Lucy? <laughs> oh no, it's Dad. If he thinks I'm the one who flooded the yard, I'll be in trouble. Lucy, where are you? Your egg's finally done. Oh, hi, already at work. <laughs> Your egg's burnt. Come and eat it. I need to find Squinty. What is this place? Squinty, how did you get up there? Don't tell me you can't come down. All the trouble you make, maybe you should just stay there. Kidding, kidding. I'll get you down. 
Ah. My sweet tea. Anyone live here? Looks uninhabited. Looks like an old sort of town hall or something. Run down Stardew Hall. Can't climb up. So what do we have? We have a hammer and a toy. Hammer the tree. Something. Some benches and a place to sit. Oh, there's a ladder here. Uh, so blind. <laughs> Can't get it down. The rope looks rather thick. Fuck. Smack it. Window looks a bit better than the others. Maybe because of this bar. Oh, it's a ruler. Okay. Doesn't seem to be too much in this area, though. And I don't have anything that can cut rope. Am I allowed to go back through? Or is dad looking for me? Maybe I can use something here. Scrap. Oh wait, maybe uh, the axe. I'm busy. He won't let me get any closer than that. And then we can't go that way. Am I allowed back inside, even though Dad's looking for me? Dad? You home? Must be out looking for me. I shouldn't stay here. I need to save Squinty before Dad comes back. Maybe now I can get something to use. Some sort of tools. Failed hammering. A huge wheel of cheese. That is a big wheel of cheese. What about the sickle? It was in the corner. No. Mm -hmm. To get a ladder down. Anything in here? Sure, what else there is? You must have a knife or something, Lucy. This is the only area. What are we missing? Dark, uninhabited windows. Ladder is fixed to the wall with a thick rope. A well-protected window. Suspicious. Can't climb. Hammer and a doll. Scrap. Hammer the bell. Hammer the door. No more water. Dry. It's dry. Abandoned kennel. 
Want a doll? Want a hammer? Hammer. Hammer. Doll. What am I missing? He's busy. He won't talk to me. Must be something in the house, right? Doing, doing, doing. Maybe something here. Dabba's gonna spread mayo. Is it this? Prefer jam for breakfast. I prefer jam for breakfast. I prefer jam for breakfast. Various tools for the fireplace. Would you rather eat a spoonful of mayonnaise or bite into a lump of butter? Just thinking of the similar things that give me that gag vibe. Clock. Nothing in the furniture. Do you find like if you think of that, you can like almost taste it? One of those weird things that, like, makes you feel a bit sick, thinking about just, like, biting into a lump of butter. Oh! Ugh. Try the basement again. She said something about taking the nails out. But that ain't working. Like mayo. I mean, I like mayo sparingly in uh, in like a sandwich or something. But like, I use it very. I use like a very small amount. What are these things? Salami in the soup instead of sausage. Dad's room. Yeah, maybe we should try and get in there. I don't see anything else in here. I am enjoying this game, though. It's pretty intriguing. I'm curious to see where it goes. Like, you need a good story in these games. I feel like the last one I really got into, like Black Sad, I really enjoy it as a point and click. But generally, point and clicks, I, like, tune out really quickly. Or if I get stuck on a puzzle or something, I'm just like, eh. Old broken mirror. Dad's room's locked. Hammer it! No. The slingshot. The slingshot was from chapter one, and then it was done being used. Kept as a memento. I don't think there's anything else in the room. Smash the pot. No. Carrying around this creepy doll for no reason. Can you go anywhere now Papa's left? Oh, maybe. Although, I think we tried to and she said, oh, he's looking for me. But I feel like I've clicked everything. That's one thing where I need like a hot button to like see what's something to actually look at. Can we go now? I think Dad's looking for me. Okay. And I can't sing or anything. Squinchy, help me. The ladder is fixed to the wall with a thick rope. The ladder is thick, fixed to the wall with a thick rope. What the hell? Must be something somewhere. Ba 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 beam, ba 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 bum bum, ski bo do ba beam, be ba 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 bum. If I had a hammer. Oh. I'd hammer at the glass window. I'd use it to cut the rope. It's as easy as that. Edit this part out of the video, it's fine. Right. The ladder is free. That was so unclear that we had to smash the glass. God damn. Uh, praise on Lele, praise her. Here I am, troublemaker. If you don't behave, you'll just stay there, okay? Yo, 
doink. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, why does trouble always find me? Cute. I mean, stay up there all day now. Now, how do we... Hey, you brats! Show yourselves! You're here to break more windows if I catch you! Yeah, what's this? Years without fruit. And then, then two... Oh, excuse me. Two... <laughs> Ooh! I think I hit puberty, finally. Two ripe, delicious intruders appear. Om nom nom! Get off my tree! Uh, it's me. I'm stuck up here. What? Oh. <laughs> I see. I understand. What a mess. <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> You'd be terrified, wouldn't you? While I'm young, I saw her before. She wasn't this slow. Poor old me. Here you are. Take it easy, little girl. The ladder is old. <laughs> He's the one who's always getting you into trouble, is he? I didn't know someone was living here. I thought... Oh, you don't say. Just thought you'd break my window and cut my rope, is that it? Everyone just wants to play pranks and vandalize the crazy old lady's house, right? I should make an example out of you. Uh, but the window was already broken. The house looked abandoned. First of all, a lady shouldn't play with such tools. The hammer is hereby confiscated. Sexist. You lost the hammer. For being a girl. Do you... Do you live here? Oh, so I do. I tied that knot so tight I couldn't use the ladder anymore. Guess that's not a problem anymore. <laughs> well, thanks for the help. I have to go. What's the hurry? You know that cat of yours came here yesterday as well. I found this on the ground. He must have brought it. It's yours, right? That's a page of my diary. It's mine, but how... <laughs> you should take better care of your stuff. I saw that a note was missing. Thought I'd add it in myself. Uh. But I don't sing anymore. Oh, how come? Didn't you like to sing with your mother? Yeah, but I had to stop. Dad says I'll get into trouble like her if I don't. I don't want it to happen to me. I understand. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Your mother disappeared. She used to sing. I used to sing too, so my voice went like this. Uh, I don't know. I, I just think it's important to respect the rules, that's all. <laughs> and there's a rule that doesn't allow singing? No, it's not really a rule. I don't think. At least I've never heard of it. But you decided to stop singing anyway. Well, well. If you think this is the best thing to do, you should avoid singing. Never again. And that thing I gave you is useless. Return it immediately. Why? It's just useless. I'll throw it away. I don't want rubbish in my garden. Uh, no, I, I mean... Even if it's useless... I'll keep it as a memory. All right. Well, <laughs> it's yours. You can keep it. Please leave now. I don't want to talk like this anymore. Grunt. My poor windows. Those brats are worse than weeds. Next time. Frogs on their heads. Chased by rats. <laughs> We'd better leave. Uh, Dad hasn't returned yet. I 
know I said I'd never sing again, but I miss it. Never gonna dance again. Memories. Lucy, where were you? Me? Here. I've been here the whole time, and... Yeah, I found Squinty. Uh, I've been looking for you all over town. You're not lying, are you? No, no, I promised I wouldn't go far, and I didn't. There's a lot of noise in the garden. It's such a mess. Maybe you didn't see me. That's true. Okay. Dad's a dummy. I heard the others are going to play hide-and-seek in the square today. Can I go too? That's fine. Just don't make, make me come looking for you. I won't. Promise. Alright. I see. <laughs> I've been meaning to dig into this mayonnaise all morning. Mmm. Oh, I'll have me a spoonful of mayonnaise. Oh. Yeah, is that everyone? No, Lucy's not here yet. Let's wait for her. It's more fun with more people. Here I am. Were you talking about me? Hey, Lucy, you're here. Want to play hide and seek with us? Sure. Who's playing Seeker today? Last time it was Black's turn. Today it's yours. Black never finds anyone. <laughs> Alright, I'll do it. Let's set one new rule. No hiding in the well. Right, Blue? You never would have found me if I hadn't sneezed. I stayed there for hours. So dumb. We were shouting all over town looking for you. The adults scolded us. You almost stayed there all night. There's ants coming out of the well. No weird hiding places, okay? Okay. Let's start, though. Come on. Hey, Lucy, close your eyes and start counting. We have to find all the kids. One. Two. Let's go, guys. Shh. If you were playing hide and seek, would you rather hide or seek? Everyone hid. Where do I start? I feel like I remember seeking being really frustrating. It's like me in a puzzle. If I can't find people, I'm like, oh, <laughs> stressed and want to give up. But if you're hiding, you're hiding. You're like hiding somewhere and you're like, -hee -hee, you know, it's like more fun. All right. So this chapter seems to be. A simple game of hide and seek. Actually, someone's big old head here. What an idiot. Silver, I can see you easily. <sighs> I thought you'd never look near the well. Black said, You're not in the well. Oh, I misunderstood. I'll wait here. Go find the others. <laughs> this is why they don't let you play, Silver. That's why you're the guard, mate. If the first person you find can help you. Yeah, that rule, like, everyone has starts searching after they are found, right? Like, they join. Greetings. Oh, hello, Lucy. Taking a walk. Looking for my friends. We're playing hide and seek. Well done, well done. Have fun, but don't make too much noise. Have you seen someone? No, Lucy, I don't think any of your friends are here. Have fun. Are you lying to me? DNA. I guess we just search everywhere. Look for little heads and feet poking out. Oh, right there in the farmer's field, Mr. Frodo. Hello, what's this? A little arrow, something to pull. Pull the rope. I mean, haha, <laughs> that's my voice, huh? You're afraid of spiders. 
What? No, I'm not. I'm more afraid of getting hit in the head by a ball. What were you thinking? Oh. They didn't scare you. They were with black and silver. Uh, I could try with cockroaches. Red, we're playing hide and seek. I found you. Go back to the square. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so like him. Spider. Fake spinners. Yeah, if you ever say spider, you have to whisper it, otherwise they show up. They hear you. And that's when you see them. That's the one good thing about super cold weather. None of them around. Bunnies back in their cages. Alright, next one. Doing, 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 Hiding in the barn. A note. Fiddle dee dee, I won't hide twice in the same place. Okay. Sticker. That's that. To the woods. I see her. Gotcha, Sunny. Get out of there. Sunny? She can't hear me. Why is she covering her ears? Can she hear monsters? She seems frightened. I can't even raise my voice to call her. Oh, wait. Use your song. Hey, hey. Looking at the gate of the forest. Little broken thoughts going on in your mind. Gonna sew them up. The doctor will see you now. Okay. Ah, so cl uh, 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 close. Just can't. Try this way. Skibbity did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, to go through that one before that twice. Thinking about the monsters out in the forest, that song's going to be stuck in your head for the rest of the week. You're welcome. Of the gate. The monster's at the gate. I heard something. Sunny, it's me. Oh, Lucy, thank goodness. What happened? You look scared. I think I saw something in the trees beyond the gate. You sure? I can only see us. No one else. Sorry. Do you want me to take a look? Tell me if you see something. Is it a monster? Nothing here, luckily. 
she was wrong. Like you wouldn't want to just run out there, you know, for the thrill of it. I didn't see anything. Really? Sorry, Lucy. Maybe I imagined it. This road's pretty scary. Let's play somewhere else. Get out of there, come on. Sure was an adventurous hide and seek. Sorry, I'm just, just trembling there while you... You must think I'm so childish. No, I was just joking. Between the two of us, you're definitely the more mature one. You always give us advice on the right thing to do. Sometimes even Red listens to you. It's a great achievement, you know. Yeah, but I don't think I do that because I'm mature. Huh? I just fear the consequences of doing the wrong thing. Every night I go to bed afraid the roars might enter from my window and take me away. Sonny, listen. I'll protect you. If you ever feel like you're in danger, come to me. How would you do that? Adults, monsters, they're all scary. I'll find a way. Maybe I'd hide you in my house with me, or we'd just leave. You'll never be alone. With your wisdom and my wits, we'll always find a way. Thank you, Lucy. I think I feel better already. Get out of here. Yes, you suck at hide and seek. Okay, maybe back up. Maybe at the baker's actually. If that ain't you, on a scale of zero to a hundred, zero being I listen to all rules, I obey rules, I don't break rules, not a rule breaker, to a hundred being, I'm a rebel. How much of a rule breaker are you? Just like the game I played at Christmas, which was actually one of the questions. It was like, how much do you obey the rules or listen to the rules or something? Found you, but you weren't hiding, Raven. Sorry, I got distracted. I was looking at... Oh, someone else disappeared. Do you know him? No. Hmm. Are you telling the truth? Just, I often think about... When my time will come. Why, though? There's no reason to think that. Even if it doesn't, I still don't see what's so great about this town. I'd rather go to the forest myself than see my posters hung up all over the place. Do you still want to play? Hmm? Did you already find Black? I didn't. I haven't seen him yet. I think I'll stay here a bit longer then. When you find him, let me know. thinking about her own poster on the wall. My number was quite high when we played that game. Much to the surprise of my aunt. Who did like a 10 or something. I'm a maverick, a wild card, see? Oh, it's my bloody Humpty Dumpty, hello. Oh, grunt. Are you right? Oh, go play on my little girl. Okay. Ah. Cheat. I'm not allowed to go past you. You're cheating. This is going to take me all day. Excuse me. Lucy, leave me alone. Stay away from the workshop. I'll never get this done if you keep pestering me. I have to call your father. Oh, I understand. But he's there. He's cheating, hiding behind you. Here, have some spiders. Stab him! No. How am I going to uh, get him out of there? Hmm. Like 
Like, I see you, dude. Squintail. Is it just that one kid left? Oh, I'm blue, right? The little kid. Just checking no one was hiding in my room. Throw the spiders at the old man. I'm not sure what to do there. Let's see if there's any other stuff this way. Where haven't I been? I feel like I went everywhere. What are you laughing about? Who, me? Huh? Not nothing? I was just thinking. Thinking about your next prank. Insects and snakes. Mm, pie. Simple girl. Looking at the ants. An ant army. Can't stop watching them. Ants are much smarter than you'd think. They have a very complex hierarchy and know how to organize themselves to do a lot of different activities. Look at this one, it's huge. If you have a stick, I'll show you how strong it is. I'm playing hide and seek, so... Sorry, started blabbering. Ants are interesting. They make these long rows down the middle of the square. Sometimes I just follow them and see where they go. Yeah, it's cool. Ants. Oh, yeah. 